companies were dealing in. Okay, so now and some of you are saying, wow, that's great. So if Sam knew where all the orders were, then when it came down to where he had a large stack of buy orders, he could just go ahead and buy. Well, no. <laughs> Here's the thing. Because you know where the orders are, you're not allowed to trade in any of your accounts or talk to anybody about where all the orders are. That's illegal. So he had that. And so it's like, well, Mickey, then how did he make his money? He made his money by facilitating those orders being filled. So the big institutions that were calling in and he was taking the orders from, the more orders that he would fill for those institutions, the more institutions wanted to use him to fill orders. But here's what he saw over all those years that he was clerking. He consistently saw price go down, hit large stacks of orders and go up, and hit large stacks of sell orders and go down. Hit large stacks of buy orders and go up, hit large stacks of sell orders and go down. So let's dive into this uh, a, a little bit more here. So there's two groups, and I'm not going to ask who you are. I'm going to assume that you lean more toward the left-hand side of the group here. So two groups. There's the professional, and a professional buys after a price drop. Why? How many of you want to buy when prices are extremely high? It doesn't make any sense. When I speak to groups, whether it's in, and, and I live near the city of Atlanta, whether in Atlanta, I've, I've taught all over the country. I've had the opportunity to teach overseas as well. And when I ask people, and talk to them about their micro economy. So in other words, the way that you buy and sell in your everyday life, I ask them, how many of you look to go out and pay the highest price possible for anything that you're buying? Food, clothes, cars, movie tickets, whatever. Uh, how many of you wanna pay the absolute biggest, uh, uh, largest price possible? Nobody does. So what do we wanna do as individuals? We wanna buy after a decline in price. We want, if we, if we knew where price would stop declining, so maybe there's something that you're looking to buy and the person that manufactures that product has put it on sale and it's a significant sale and so you can buy this near a wholesale price you're going to jump all over it right so and then we sell after a rally in price so this comes in with being simple and saying what do we want to do we want to buy at a low price we want to sell at a high price but what is a high price so we have to identify that even more and then the high price is where the charts will tell us that there is more supply of the product at a high price and that price could turn and start coming back down. And we want to get out and we want to preserve or secure our profits after we've bought it wholesale and we're getting up to resale price, retail prices. So the novice, you know, we have to have, if we're going to trade on the professional side, you have to have somebody that's going to trade on the novice side. Because if you bought something at a low price and you want to sell it at a high price, there has to be somebody there to buy it. So the novice, what they do is they buy after a rally in price. And we're going to talk about why. I'm going to break into this with more charts than just words here on the screen here in a moment. So they buy after price has gone up. They buy right into an area where there's a lot more supply than there is demand. And they sell after a decline in price. So when the market was selling off 32%, you saw most of the orders, or if you look at the quote advanced decline ratio, which just tells you how many stocks went down that day versus how many stocks went up and what the ratio was. So if almost everybody is selling, they sell after a decline in price because of panic, because of stress, because they don't know how much further it's going to go down. And they end up selling right into an area where there are large stacks of institutional orders, professional orders, as I have up here, or institutional orders to buy. So, so many students that I would meet that would be um, traders or novices to the market, they'd be like, that's me, Mickey. You know what? I get scared and I sell and then run after I sell, something goes up or I'd run into somebody that's the opposite. It seems like every time I buy a stock, it would go down. And those were the retail that, or the novice investors and traders that are out there. So the, there's always somebody on the other side of the trade. Which side of the trade are you going to be on? And again, a lot of you have seen this before. And so that's why I'm moving through it at a little bit more rapid pace with my voice, as you can tell. Uh, so how you make money buying and selling in the financial markets is exactly how you make money buying and selling anything in life. And, and you need to understand that this is not different. If you look at the financial markets different than you look at the way you use money in every other market around the world, you're going to be on the novice side of the trade. You have to understand a lot of the good strategy that you're using right now or the good habits that you have which is buying whatever you can at wholesale prices because you don't always get to buy at wholesale. Sometimes you have to pay what the price is, right? But as many times as we want to in our micro economies, we want to buy anything we're buying at wholesale prices 
And if we own anything, and this is the kind of the tough side of it, we don't buy a lot of stuff that goes up in price where we look to sell it for a profit, uh, which is why a lot of novice traders don't understand selling up into an area of supply or or uh, uh, or selling, excuse me, on the pro side, selling after a rally in price and selling into a supply area. Then the second bullet point down here is trading is simply a transfer of accounts from those who know what they're doing into the accounts of those uh, or don't know what they're doing into the accounts of those who do. So again, the novice transfers money to the professional account. So I want you to get another word out of your vernacular. I want you to get the word, I lost money. It may be lost to you, but it's found by somebody else. So the way you need to look at your trading is if you took a trade and you lost money, you didn't follow a system, you didn't follow any kind of um, objective rule-based system and you lost money, you didn't lose it, you transferred it over to somebody else who made the right decision. And if you're transferring more money out of your account than money is being deposited in your account, there's an issue there and we need to fix it. So I don't think you're making him feel better, Mickey, with that kind of a comment. <laughs> It's all right. I just want to get that out of there, though, right? Yeah. Because you hear people. Yeah. You didn't lose. Say, you gave it to someone else, is what he said. Yeah. I lost it. It's kind of like it was, oh, it was a mistake. You know, I lost it. You know, yeah. it's like it was sunglasses and, and reader glasses. You guys can see that I've got my readers on. So I probably buy, uh, I go through 20 pairs of readers and 20 pairs of sunglasses um, at least a year. So, you know, for me to go out and continue to buy 20, 30 Ray Bans uh, is not the greatest price because when I'm out on, when I'm out on the boat, and I haven't secured my sunglasses with something, they go flying off my head, they're gonna sink. And I don't want, I don't want three or $400 to sink. I don't mind, you know, $20 sinking. So again, that's losing something by accident. Uh, but if you're just basically pushing a button to transfer money out of your account into somebody else's, that's a problem. <laughs> we might need to go to a 12 step group for that. But we don't even have 12 steps to our strategy. So there's a, uh, there's a nice uh, little transition there. So it's one strategy that you can apply in any market. And we're going to talk, of course, about the financial markets today. But we're also already doing this or should be doing this as good stewards, managers of our money in our everyday life. So the famous quote that that Sam has been known for over so many years is, is this right here. The movement of price in any and all free markets is a function of the laws of supply and demand. Low risk, high reward, and high probability opportunity is present when this simple and straightforward relationship is out of balance. What does that mean? If there's more buyers than sellers of any product, price will go up. If there's more sellers than buyers of a product, it has to go on sale. It has to go down until it finds a buyer. So let's take a look at uh, three things that we want to know. Champ mentioned these, but let's go ahead and go over them again. So where will price turn? That's what everybody wants to know. So where will price turn? A significant supply and demand imbalance causes price to churn. It's what I was talking about that Sam got to see. He could look to the left and see a large stack of orders, and whatever that price that that stack was sitting on would be where price would stop going down and start going up. And then where would price move to? The second bullet point here, the lack of a significance of significant supply and demand facilitates price movement. So in other words, where is price going to go up to? It's going to continue to go up until it meets a significant stack of orders to sell that particular stock or futures contract, whatever, price will move up until it reaches a large stack of sell orders where there's more sell orders than buy orders. And then um, nobody's going to be there to buy whatever you own. Price is going to move down. So who's on the other side of your trade? You're normally buying and selling from either professionals or novices. There's really not a middle ground there. So are you buying from and selling to a professional or a novice? Now, what would you like to do anything with? If you own a business and let's say uh, uh, 10 new businesses just opened in a brand new whatever in our economy, there's a new widget, 10 companies went into business. Would you want somebody that's a professional that knows how to run a company really well and be on the professional team? Or do you want to be on the novice team where eight or you know more of those businesses will go out of business. Well, you don't want to be on the novice side of it. None of us want to be on the novice side of it. As a matter of fact, it's almost an insult when you're doing something, if you're playing sports or, uh, or, or you're involved in any kind of uh, profession, if somebody calls you a novice, you're kind of like, hey, wait a minute, you know, I don't know if I'm a novice or not, but your actions show which side of it you're on. If you're consistently profitable, you're probably on the professional side. If you're not, you're on the novice side. So let's take a look at just what we've been taught again and just 
a quick uh, synopsis of this. And this is fun too. So we're going to have fun on both sides of it. So here we have candlesticks. And again, you guys know what candlesticks are. You all said that you were trained, so you should know the candlesticks are just price action over a time frame. Doesn't matter what the time frame is here. This first one is just a, um, it, it's an actual trade from one of our sessions uh, that we'll talk about here in a few minutes, but uh, but want to use it just more of an example. So we rally up in price and then we stop going up in price. And I love this. When all of this clicked for me years ago and I realized why did price stop going up and for four candles here, just trade sideways? Well, the reason is because you hit an area where there were more sellers than buyers right above uh, that upper line there, which would be called the distal line, um, or now it could be a proximal line, but anyway, the upper line here above where it says demand, price wasn't getting much higher than that. Why? Because there was more sellers and buyers. What about on the lower end, the line that's going underneath the word demand? Uh, well, it, it, we couldn't get any lower than that because there was enough buyers to absorb the sellers here. There are enough sellers to absorb the buyers here. And until what's in balance becomes out of balance, we don't know if we're going up or down. So we could have a lot more sellers than buyers as we continue moving sideways that eventually will drop out of that area with strength. Or we could have a lot more, a significant amount more buyers than sellers, and we explode out of this area. Well, on this day, we exploded out of the area. And again, that's what we look for. We look for these very strong moves out of an area. I like to use the word explosive because it just means more to me from a psychological perspective than talking about a significant move up. I like the explosive move. So we exploded up a lot more green candles and red candles, and now we're just moving straight up. So what happened? We came up into an area there. We found out after trading sideways for four candles that there was a lot more demand than there was supply, and we exploded to the upside. But we didn't know that until we actually had the explosion. Now, here's something else that the chart tells us. What it tells us is because we moved so quickly and so strongly out of the area, not every order to buy was filled. All right. Remember that? So let me just state it again. So we traded sideways for four candles. But in the end, what we found out was we had a lot more demand, which drove price up than we had supply. And when we're talking about professional traders, and I'm going to switch the word from professional to institutional, because I want you guys to be thinking about the JP Morgans out there, the Goldman Sachs, the Morgan Stanleys, the Timber Hills, the Susquehannas, all the big institutions that are out there trading. They're trying to get a massive amount of orders filled, and they can't get all the orders filled when price takes off out of an area, which means what? They still have orders to buy down here if price were to return to this area. Okay, now, this is kind of fun and, and, and just a quick analogy right here because uh, I, I was doing a session uh, with uh, Champ recent, recently and uh, somebody had thrown up in the chat box that this would be a price of like toilet paper in COVID. And I thought, you know, everybody laughed, but I thought, what, what a, I mean, that's true because down here, you know, everybody was going out and they were buying toilet paper at toilet paper's normal price. But then when there was no to toilet paper, I don't know about some of you, but on uh, there's a highway here, Georgia 400, it's got a lot of exits on it. And at one of the exits I got off on, somebody was sitting on the side of the road with a bunch of toilet paper, and they were selling it for $10 a roll. Thank God God made leads. So <laughs> $10 a roll. So price had definitely significantly gone up. And why? Because all the orders to buy toilet paper, all of you that were running to the store to buy toilet paper, there was no more toilet paper to be bought. There was more demand than there was supply, and price shot up on the secondary market. How do you like that? Okay, I like it. So let's move on. Uh, now, as we came back down, we hit this significant area where we were high. We sold off. And as we got close to where there were unfilled orders to buy, whatever this is, uh, which is probably an index here, if we look to the right, but it doesn't matter. So as we sold down and we got even close to the demand area, we couldn't even get into it because there was buying coming in even before we got there. And we rocketed up in price again. So what this would tell me if we didn't actually hit the area is that if we come back down to this area, I have a lot of orders that are sitting in this demand zone that I'm going to make sure that I have my order placed long before we fall down. So in other words, we would have placed an order to buy right in here where this line is. And as price came down, we're hoping to get filled, but it looks like it didn't happen on this day. Then price went back up. One of the things that a trader has to have or an investor, but we're talking more to traders today, 
is patience and discipline. It might not come back to you. That's okay. You don't get filled in the trade. You can't make money, but you can't lose money. There's other great trades that you've got out there. But what happened eventually? Price started to sell off, a little bit of a rally, and then look what happened. It was a stair step down. So we sold off. We were sideways for a significant amount of time, sold off a little bit more. Again, sideways for a significant amount of time, sold off more, sideways for a significant amount of time, went up sideways for a significant amount of time. And there's a reason that I'm repeating myself. And then we dropped strong right into our area of demand. So you, somewhere way back in here, or even if you were looking at the markets in here, you would have seen this rally up in price, this sideways action or basing, and the explosion out of the area. That is the first step to identify an area where there's more demand than supply. I'm going to put my order into buy here. I'm going to have a stop order to make sure that I don't put too much money at risk. The order comes into my area. Now I'm filled and I bought. And what happened on this particular trade? Well, the novice traders and investors were selling. Why? Well, that's a significant price drop. Even if you look at the prices from 1780 all the way down to about 1670, that's a significant price drop. People are panic selling. You can see that with these red candles. But what are professionals doing? Well, look all the way over here. The professionals that had leftover orders or unfilled orders, UFOs, we like to call them, the orders are now getting filled. The orders that were not filled here are getting filled here. And you can see with the strong movement out of that area, so they're getting filled and they're getting filled um, significantly. There's a lot of these sell orders that are getting filled that takes us right out of this area of demand. And then we start to run back up. Now, a couple of things left on this chart right here, because this is the setup for everything else. And then I can show you some trades out of some of our uh, trading um, arenas uh, that you guys are going to be looking at with uh, with champ here in just a second so first of all when we were stair stepping down remember i said we stared that we stair stepped down and we were significantly trading to the side down to the side down to the side what's happening here is these all orders to sell are being filled they're all being filled on the way down now what you see is a drop in price but it's a regular drop in price just stair stepping down which means that if this orders to sell are mostly being filled on the way down What's going to get in the way of our trade if we get filled on it and there's demand? What's going to get in the way of stopping it on the way up? Nothing. Not, not much. Yeah, because all of these orders are already filled. So when we look at the other side and price rallied up, you can see we, we stepped up. We stepped up some more. So we were filling some of the sell orders that were left, but there were not significant sell orders to stop the movement up until we got over here which was the origin of this move down. We came back into it a little bit, and then we had the big sell up into area demand. So you could have traded this hypothetically on this one, even though this was a trade out of either the forum or the exchange, and we'll talk about what those are in a minute, where you could have picked it up at around 1670, ridden it all the way up to about 1760 or a little bit higher with a little bit of uh, money at risk there. Now, a little bit is, is all relative, right? Uh, a little bit for some of you that have like a $5,000 trading account, it's going to be significantly different from those of you that are trading a hundred thousand uh, dollar trading account and higher so it's relative to your trading account all right now with that in mind so up down and up let me move on to the next one all we did and i love this little stick figure people kind of over here so the more price drops you're the more people want to buy and this comes true at different times of the year uh when i'm teaching in different environments i like to talk about buying ribeyes and what happens right over here on the left hand side where you can see that we rallied up we went sideways and then we exploded out of that area and then continued to trend up well if this was the price of ribeyes there's the mickey meat index the mmi it's not posted out there in the financial arena yet but it should be and it usually happens in march or april where the local the local supermarket grocery store that i go to puts whole ribeye on sale and the most that I'll pay for it is $4.99 a pound. So I usually get it between $3.99 and $4.99 a pound. Now, when they put that sale on, I get there the first day that the sale is because I want to get my order filled. Now, the last time I went, they only had three carcasses of beef for me to buy. And I asked if they had any more in the back, and they said no. Uh, so basically, I bought all of the ribeye. So now when they had ribeye delivered in a few days, they priced it higher. And it went higher and higher and higher. They ended up buying too much, and as price sell, sold off, there was a circular that went out that 
meat was going to be on sale again for around that $3.99. And I went back and bought more and put it in the freezer. So again, it's just something that we're doing in our everyday lives. So what happens here? Uh, for this particular trade uh, over to the right-hand side, price rallied up. It stopped going up or down because the price action, the orders were equal in this area. And then we exploded to the upside. So we have our area of demand. Price sold off, came back up, tried to go higher, couldn't, and started to sell off. It dropped down right to this area, stayed there for not very long, and then significantly fell out. Now, you came a few ticks away from getting filled on this candle. Patience and discipline. Don't start chasing the trade. It comes into your area. Just what we thought. There are a lot more significant institutional buy orders here that were not filled. So we want to buy where the institutions are buying. We put in our order at 67.98 and we buy. We have a stop below 67.64. This rallies up. Where is it going to rally up to? Where there's more sellers than buyers. That's just what this stick person uh, image represents over here. The more stuff goes up, the more institutions want to sell it to take a price profit or short it to make money on the way down. Okay, so if you know about shorting, you can buy and you can go long on the way up. And then if you hit a supply area, you can short that exact same product on the way down. So as we get up and there's more people that want to sell it than buy it, we move down. In here, it's kind of in no man's land. A lot of these orders are filled. We don't trade in the middle. We wait for it to get significantly outside of where its recent trading action is into an area of demand. There's more people that want to buy it. So buy it wholesale, sell it retail, or sell it retail and buy it back at wholesale. That's what we're talking about with this style of trading. So we already went through who the two groups are. Uh, so I'm not going to spend time on that. But one last thing about how people are taught to buy stocks. And again, this isn't most of you. So I want to jump through this really quick. You can put it in the chat box. I'll come back to it. Uh, at the end of our session today if you need me to but a lot of people are fundamental traders so here's what happens price starts to move up and then there's news about this great company and how they're doing great business they've got solid earnings they've got a strong management team they have a healthy balance sheet and price just shoots straight up now there's something that you're being told but there's something that you're not being told so what the charts are telling you is that price has gone up significantly too high after you've made your decision on this news that it's a great company with solid earnings, strong management, healthy balance sheet. Now, all you're being told by the people on TV or in the periodicals that you guys subscribe to or online services, whatever, is that this is a good company. But they're not saying it's a good company and a good price to buy. You get that? I hope you do. All they're saying is that it's a good company. I remember as I looked at this more and more, and then I watched the talking heads on CNBC in the morning, and all these people would be interviewed about uh, a particular stock and they would talk about these things like oh yeah it's a great company solid earnings strong management health and balance sheet and then they had to do full disclosure and they didn't own it their company didn't own it no financial companies that they were affiliated with no, no owned it nobody in their family or that was related to them owned it so it was no 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 if it's such a great company why don't they own it well because it's at too high a price i can tell you this personally i never I never saw price. Um, I never saw somebody that was recommending a stock that owned it until I started to watch a couple of the guys every now and then on um, uh, Fast Money. Uh, and even those guys aren't there anymore. Most of them left. So um, the professionals are selling right into the novices that are buying. If you look at stuff like IBD, Investors Business Daily, most of the stocks that they're saying are strong companies have already gone up in price. And why are people buying them? Well, they're because they're Mickey, they're going up in price. So it's already shown me that it's going up in price. Yeah, but you don't do that in any other environment. So why would you do it here? You wouldn't wait for whatever you want to buy or whatever vacation you want to take to get to the most extreme price. You know, we can use all kinds of things today, but uh, th there were deals. And now <laughs> here's why there's deals to Hawaii, because when you get there, you have to quarantine for 14 days. But you could buy like $250 round trip tickets to Hawaii, um, but you have to quarantine for 14 days. So the tickets are really inexpensive. Why? Because there's no demand for them. But COVID goes down and the full economy goes up, those tickets will eventually get back up to their retail price. Okay. Um, this was just an example of uh, one company telling you something different than what they're doing. So Goldman Sachs, in this case, this is Tesla. This is like uh, a real sexy stock that uh, people with money like to trade. Why? Because it's a $700 stock. Uh, it was on this day on April 15th. 
So Goldman Sachs cuts Tesla's price target and that news comes out on this day. So when the news came out, had you looked left, you would have seen an area where price was moving down and then exploded out to the upside, which meant what? We came into an area where there was significant more buyers than sellers. We took off out of the area, so not all those orders were filled. So on the day that they're telling you to, uh, that it's going on a downward path and it looks like, oh, maybe I shouldn't own it or I should sell it, that's where you should be buying it. Now, that was on June 20th of 2019. Move forward to April 15th of 2020, Goldman puts out a recommendation to buy Tesla at $730 a share. Now, this is a real easy answer for all of you, and I don't need you to put it in the chat box. Would you have rather paid $197 for Tesla, or would you rather be paying $730 a share for Tesla? Analysts see buying opportunities in stocks. It doesn't mean they're buying them, it just means that they see stuff. Another thing that was interesting on uh, that day, Tesla was the, I mean, uh, Goldman Sachs was the only uh, stock in the banking sector that was actually up on the day that they put out that April 15th buy recommendation. A lot of people like to follow Goldman. Here's just a couple of more um, trades. Now, this one is out of our, the forum. And so we're going to get into the first of our trading environments. And, and uh, Steve's going to take you into that uh, in a moment. So this is our first session that we do in the morning to get set up for markets. And we're looking at SPY, which is trading the S&P 500 and exchange traded fund. It trades its shares of stock. And what had been identified is the S&P had hit its all time highs back in here to the left. I'm on the left hand chart. Hopefully you can see my mouse. It started to sell off. You can see all this white space with no candles in it. There's a gap. And again, I'm talking to more um, educated traders from what you guys said uh, than novices. So there was a gap down. So people that wanted to sell inside the gap or at the origin of the gap, those didn't get filled. And when we finally opened the next day, it's a 60 minute chart. We sold off really strong, slight rally and a massive sell off over the next few days. So all of these orders to sell up here, let me ask you a question. Did every order to sell get filled? And the answer is no. How do you know that? Because of all the sell orders, if there was a million shares to sell and a million shares to buy, we'd still be at this point because they cancel each other out. There was a million shares to sell and only maybe um, 10,000 to buy. Well, you're going to have a lot more shares selling and people are going to be buying them at lower and lower and lower prices. So on the right hand side, you can see it a little bit more significantly. It was it was pushed up. What happened after the 23rd? when we were rallying up into this area. So we're looking at the result. The setup was on 6-3, June 3rd, uh, this month, or today's July 1st, so this month it just ended. Uh, and then on June 12th, nine days later, um, you had a move right up into, and this was interesting because it was a gap and a run right up into our area of supply. And what happens when you move up in price into an area where there's more sellers than buyers? You have to go down. So what you saw here was novices are buying, the professionals or the institutions are selling, and the SPY sell, uh, sold off uh, over two days from $321 a share to $298 a share, a $23 per share move, which is pretty significant uh, in the SPY. Uh, 23, what is that uh, equate to? Um, 230 points, okay? So um, just another example here of uh, the S&P, and this is the index. Uh, fell down into an area that we had found as a gap. Not all of the orders to buy got filled in the gap. So what happens when you return to an area where not everybody who wanted to buy the S&P had the chance to buy it? There's a lot of orders that are filled. When we come back, those orders get filled right here. Novice, novices are selling, institutions are buying, professionals are buying, and you see a strong move up in the S&P. So, uh, and this is just, uh, another trade that comes that came out of the forum on the 18th was the setup. The result came on the 19th. So I love this because uh, our students that are uh, in the forum as we record this and they miss some of the setups, they can catch it later in the day. So we had a nice area of supply up here where we rallied up in price. We dropped, traded just a little sideways and then gapped out of the area and ran down. What happens when you return to an area where there's more sellers than buyers? Price has to go down. All right, so we've gone through this and we know this. And a lot of you said that you had been trained in the supply and demand equation and knowing it. Now, how can it, it comes down to how can I have greater success and really just focus on uh, a few strategies? And there's only a few strategies. There's really only two. You buy in demand and you sell in supply. There's a couple of the ways that 
uh, that those strategies set themselves up, but what do they look like going forward? The side of strategy shows you how to stop thinking like a novice investor and start executing like a pro. What Chad's going to do right now is take you into what you need to be able to do this, which is what? Well, if you're going to trade like a pro, you need both the strategies and the tools that professionals use. Or if you want to trade like an institution instead of an individual, you need to use the tools that institutions are using instead of the tools that individuals are using. So I'm going to stop screen sharing uh, here so that uh, Steve, so that uh, Champ can take it back over. I call him Champ. A lot of you call him Steve. Um, so I think I stopped uh, screen sharing there. Yes, you did. did just I? don't yeah. call. Just just don't call me late for dinner. That's what I tell oh, yeah. you. Yeah, no, I won't ever call you late for dinner. I, I know you too well for that. So, yeah. So. So one of the things I want to share with you guys is that as we get started on the membership aspect, because the side strategy is created to set it up where people could actually have access to membership. And what that means is that professional strategies, professional grade tools, and Sam, this has been something that he's been thinking about and putting together for quite some time, for a long time, actually. And he wanted to kind of roll it out. And so over the last three, four months, we've rolled out the side and strategies. We've been very we really haven't started to to go out there and talk to people that aren't people who understand supply and demand model. We're really focusing on the people that are followers of Sam, followers of Jasmine Wang, because you folks know that the system works. You've been following for a while and you understand the process. And so what the side and strategies was, was Sam's ability to step away from uh, utilizing, you know, other other uh, educational programs and teaching and, and following through on creating his own. And so one of the great things about the side and strategy is that it's been years in the making. It's not something that just popped up. It's something that we've created over time and, and years. And Sam is somebody who, for the last couple of years, I know specifically has been talking about creating a, a brain trust, if you will, a group of people that are successful traders who are going to stick to the process of following the rules and ultimately be able to participate in a system that allows them to be successful. So I want to kind of walk you through what that looks like. Uh, as we go here, and let me see if I can get us to do this there. Veritas powers everything. Now, Veritas is simply a system that Sam put together, and it's an algorithm, and it's a tool. So I want you to understand something about tools. Tools are designed to help you be more effective. They're designed to help you to make better decisions. They're not designed to do it for you. They're not designed to do anything but to allow us to make better decisions. And for the last... 15 years, Sam has created this algorithm, Veritas, and it powers the entire Side and Strategies membership program. And it's his original proprietary supply and demand strategy algorithm. And it's designed to basically power every aspect of the Side and Strategies membership. Now, that includes the forum, the exchange, the gallery, the screener, the options coliseum, and the investor empire. Now, for the sake of time, we're going to talk about a few of these different sub environments of the side and strategies. But Veritas is an algorithm that powers everything, and it's a most amazing tool because it works on any asset class on any time frame. And we're going to talk about the screener here in a second as I take a dive into the different aspects of the membership. But one of the first elements of the membership is simply this: Veritas powers everything. So this is a state of the art exclusive algorithm that Sam has created that allows us to identify supply and demand levels. It is being integrated currently into our website. It'll be available very shortly because it's just an integration issue. Sam's been using it for years. Now, what he did was he used Veritas to power some different environments that could help us be more successful in the markets. And one of the key elements is what we call the forum. Now, the forum is a morning session. This is one aspect of the Side and Strategies membership is a session every day called the forum. And the forum is a daily session. It starts at 8.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's really pre-market. I mean, before the, I mean, the futures market's already open, obviously, but and the currency market. But we want to set up pre-market for the U.S. stock market. Because once that U.S. stock market opens, that's when a lot of activity starts to happen. That's when the volatility really seems to kick up. Sam Seiden's your host most times. He's, he's our lead market specialist. He's your primary host in the forum. I know he gets up at 3.30 in the morning and he's utilizing uh, the opportunity to identify great, uh, great trade setups that you and I can log into in the forum. Imagine every day logging in the forum and we've already identified specific, specific things in a one-hour session, which will help us identify significant turning points and opportunities in stocks, ETS, futures, options, and bonds. It really is 
just a morning session that allows us to set up our day. And I want to give you an example out of the forum. This was a, uh, an opportunity that Sam had identified in the forum. It was a demand area, just like Mickey spoke of. We see that area where we have that basing area over here on the left. And then we start to see an area where price comes back down. And once price comes back down into this area, we had that second move. And this is where the professionals are buying. And that's what the forum, that was, that actual setup was in the forum. And it was just a few weeks back. It was uh, the second week of June. These are live daily. This is that brain trust that allows you to work with somebody like a Sam side and some people that understand that have a like mind of supply and demand strategy and we're identifying opportunities every day collectively as a brain trust. The next environment is called the exchange. So the form is at 8.15 every morning, Eastern Standard Time. It's pre-market, traditionally set up to be pre-market. And then the exchange is something that's really an active live trading session. It starts at 9.15. And what it is, is it's, it's on. The market's on. We're actually looking for setups. We're identifying opportunities. Uh, one of our side and strategies market specialists will be hosting this. Uh, Jasmine Wang is a prominent person. Some of you are friends of Jasmine. You've been following her for years. She's a prominent person who hosts the exchange most mornings. She's got such a unique ability to see those levels of supply and demand that Sam had spoke to her and taught her. And ultimately, it allows us to trade in a collective group like-minded people looking for opportunities every single morning. It's up to 90 minutes in duration, and it focuses on intraday and short-term trading. This is not investing. This is not position trading. This is short-term opportunities. It's daily. It's fast-paced. One of the things is that when we, when we bring somebody in as a new member into the side and strategies, we, we, we have them go through a process where we make sure that they can run at the pace that this runs at. Because if they're not prepared for that, we have to get them ready. Because once, we, once you log into the exchange, it's trading. It's on and it's active and you better be ready to go because that's what they're doing. It's set up just for that so that we can trade collectively in a group environment using these professional grade tools and these strategies that Sam has created for us. Now, here's an opportunity. This Jasmine. You can see her picture up here. She identified a setup on, uh, on the, the, the NASDAQ, the NQ. This was a specific demand area. You can see she find an area of demand at 97.37 to 97.64. The great thing is, is this splash screen. Imagine this, folks. Every morning you woke up and you had these opportunities laid in front of you. Now, Ronald Reagan was famous for saying, trust but verify. In other words, understand that we've got great trade setups that we share with our environment here at the Sidon Strategies. A lot of opportunities that we find collectively you still have to understand why it's a great opportunity, understand the risk, and take the trade assuming the risk. It's just a great benefit and resource to have people around you that are helping to identify opportunities that you and I might not have otherwise seen. And the exchange is perfect for that. Here's another trade. Here's a short position out of the exchange. You saw where we took this thing short, right around 27,400 in that area. You see over here, we had that, 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 that basing area and a strong move down. Price came back up where that leftover sellers were, as Mickey explained, and then it collapsed. And you can see over here, it came down here and we had that collapse move. And that was a nice short opportunity. Now, these are all educational opportunities for you to see in a live environment. If you decide you want to take these trades, you can take these trades. That's the benefit of being in this community uh, around people that are looking for the same thing and understand the same process that we do. And then the gallery and the gallery plus. Now, this is so unique. Because what this is powered by is Veritas. Again, the algorithm that Sam created 15 years ago is what powers the gallery. And what the gallery is, is on any given morning, you can log into your Side and Strategies membership site and you get access to 50 different, in our gallery plus, supply and demand zones on 50 different major markets. I mean, imagine that. You literally can log in, click the button, and now you've got all these short-term and mid to long-term areas of supply and demand already calculated. Now, understand this, folks. Again, don't just take a trade because you really want to take a trade. Take a trade because you understand that it's in an area of supply, and this is why I believe it's going to go higher or lower. The gallery is simply a ability for you to find good opportunities. These are selected using Veritas, and it gives you a essentially an opportunity to take advantage of trades simply because somebody else identified the setup for you. Again, it's a time saver. It's just an efficiency thing. I meet people all the time. I say, you know what my problem is, champ? I need to find a trade. I need to find a trade. I got to find a trade. You don't need to find a trade. There's trades all around. 
And what I love about the sliding strategies is that we've identified lots of opportunities for trades. You just got to go forth and do your diligence and make sure that one fits the criteria of your trading and investing plan, and you can take it. That's the benefit of the gallery. You can see we have stocks, exchange traded funds, futures, bonds, Forex. This covers all asset classes. It's so comprehensive, and it's updated daily. So that every morning, pre-market, you're going to see these levels for you. And next day, there'll be different levels. Some of them will stay the same if price hasn't moved far away from where it was yesterday. But we'll always have fresh levels. And you know how you identify a fresh level in the Gallery Plus? It's highlighted. It's yellowed out. So you can see that this is a brand new level that we just identified this, this morning. And so this is multiple time frames and trading style opportunities. And it's an analysis to identify major buy and sell areas created by those unfilled orders, those institutional footprints. Let me tell you something. It simply comes down to understanding where those institutions have left those unfilled buy and sell orders. The Gallery Plus allows us, to, based on the Veritas algorithm, to identify where they are. And now you can go forward and utilize all that to, those resources and that strategy to make a decision. So essentially, the side of strategies is learning the skill of making good decisions on a supply and demand process, and then ultimately streamlining your efficiency with time so that you can get more effective with less time commitment to trading and investing. That's what this is built for because so many people spend hours and hours and hours sitting at a computer all day long and it's fruitless. The, the more you stay, the worse it becomes sometimes as a trader. I've experienced that myself. We have to be ready and prepared and streamline the efficiency of making the decision and then take best available trade. That's what these are all, all these environments are created to do that. Now, the great thing about this is that is this, this also covers stocks, futures, ETS, bonds, and Forex. And then ultimately, here's a trade that came right out of the gallery that somebody could have taken in their own account. Well, you can see a demand level at 233.70 and price came down. You could see right here. I mean, it literally came down and just touched that area. And there was so much leftover demand here, it exploded out of here. Those are the type of setups from a technical standpoint as a trader that we need to have. And that's what they're designed to do here in the gallery in the gallery plus. Now, this is the coup de gras, the Veritas screener. And I want to I want you to picture something with me for a second here. Picture opening up your your account, your, your brokerage account, TradeStation, Interactive Brokers, Thinkorswim, whoever you use, could be anybody, FXCM, doesn't matter. Imagine that you log in and then you basically pull up a ticker symbol and a time frame. So you put up a 60 minute candle time frame and you pull up a ticker symbol of the ES, let's say the S&P futures, E-mini. And immediately then the Veritas screener fires on and a picture looks exactly like this on your computer where current price is here and it identifies where supply is and demand is below current price right now on the time frame you put in on whatever asset you put in. That is the Veritas screener. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm excited when they, we finally get this integrated in the website because Sam said it to me the other day because he's been using this for a while. He says, I get so excited when I turn on the Veritas screener and those, and those zones populate right in front of me. Think about that. That's what this was built around. It's built with years of analysis to create an algorithm that streamlines the process for us. Now, understand something, folks. This is a tool. It is not the answer for you. you it is a tool. Sometimes we find levels with Veritas and they don't work. That's why we still use stop orders. We're not going to go away from using stops to get out with small losses. But Veritas is a time saver and it's a trading investing tool based on Sam's supply and demand strategy algorithm. We have this available as members of the side strategies. Amazing. And we're very close to having the integration into our website where you'll be able to fire it on as a member really amazing program. And I'm so excited personally for this as a trader and many of our members are as well. Scans any market, any time frame to identify potential low risk, high reward and high probability trading and investing opportunities. So you can use this for long term investing. I mean, we have a, 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 an aspect of our membership called the investor empire, which we're not going to spend a lot of time on today because it's kind of another area that a lot of people have interest in. And it allows us to utilize the Veritas screener on a longer time frame and more of a portfolio screening capacity. For some of you that are focused on not only short-term income from trading, but also that long-term wealth, wealth and, and income generation comes with understanding 
how to utilize longer time frames. And this Veritas screener works on all time frames. So we're flat excited about this. It covers major global markets and exchanges, and you log in your membership and it scans and fires on. And it's only available as a member of the side and strategies. And we're so excited. This has been the thing that we've been waiting for for a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one of the aspects of membership, I want to talk a little bit about membership because obviously we've covered some of the areas that are, are probably the most relevant areas for the people that are in this session tonight, the short-term trading areas, the forum, the exchange, the gallery, finding levels of supply and demand, the Veritas screener, which we can use as a tool to help us identify on any time frame where the areas of supply and demand and balance are, where the best opportunities should be. And then it's, so it's just an amazing time saver. This whole membership is built around learning the skill and then streamlining your efficiency and being most efficient with the skill with the least amount of time commitment involved. And that's where most of you miss it because a lot of traders sit too long, too much analysis, and it bogs them down and they, they overanalyze and they make bad decisions. So part of the membership at Side and Strategies is where we have a member council. That's our support team. And they're geared up to help you as a member or a potential member to be able to understand the process and all the attributes of membership. Now, our member council has full-time support from 8 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. So you can call our main number, and it's got a, a, a tree of different people you can reach you with your membership or support, member support. If you're having a problem with something within the membership or you're having a problem with identifying supply and demand areas because you're not quite comfortable with that yet, our support team, our member support team will walk you through that. They're utilizing the strategies. They're utilizing the system. Many of them are traders that are utilizing the same environment you'll be in. So it helps you because you've got like-minded people that are there to support you in the process. Live chat, email, and phone. The side and strategies is up and running, and we've been running for a while. And everybody that needs to reach us, it is our policy to get back to them as soon as possible. And traditionally, by the end of business. And what I love about that is that as you go through this, it's simply a matter of understanding that you're not alone. We want you to realize that this community, this culture that Sam is putting together is really helping people of like mind to support each other. And really, there's, there's, none of us are threatened by anybody else's success because the market's such a big pie that everybody can eat well. So we're not threatened if you become more successful, you become more savvy. We love that. Welcome to the community. There's plenty of room for everybody. Answers questions, provides solutions, and ensure an ex exceptional experience. We're all about that aspect of we want this to be a world-class experience for our, our members. And ultimately, we're, we're, we're founding our entire side and strategies on that concept. And live support sessions are held each week to help members understand strategy and execute with precision. In other words, you'll be able to plug in and utilize some of our support members to help you if you're having issues with the gallery, not understanding if this, anything with the screener. It's all built around supporting the members because we're all focused on the same goal. Consistency with, this, with a good strategy and a set of professional tools. And that's what this is built on. Now, I want to introduce you to the membership options. There's two of them. And there's only two. And on the left side, you have the strategy. Now, that, that is a membership that includes the forum, which is the 8.15 a.m. session we spoke of. The exchange, which is the live day trading session that goes on every day, Monday through Friday. The gallery, which is the picks. The ability to see some of those predetermined areas of supply and demand. Uh, the, the, the areas in white, the arena, the options coliseum, the investor empire, these are all additional areas that are working and running or being built as we speak because we are rolling through the process of building a lot of the stuff as we go. So all of that is included in the strategy membership and member support. Uh, so for those of you that are here that understand the supply and demand model, the strategy membership, the first year membership, $6,995, that's for an annual membership. Because we haven't reached our 250 members yet, because you see down below and where there's an asterisk, it says introductory offer available for first 250 members. We're really close to that. And when we get to that number, we're pulling the introductory offer. So you have a good opportunity because you have the ability to have a significant savings because of the introductory offer and membership, but we only have a few spots. And then eventually, I know tomorrow night, we have a large, large workshop similar to this we will probably cap out at that 250. So it's an opportunity for you because you're the some of the first people in to take advantage of it. So that first year membership on the strategy side is $49.95. And that's paid once and that's a one year membership. And that includes all aspects that are in the strategy column, the forum, the exchange, the gallery, the arena, the options coliseum, 
Steve Moses, that's his baby. Some of you know Steve is an amazing options trader. The Investor Empire, which is our life strategy assessment session. We don't have enough time to go into that too deep, but understand these are all aspects that help people in different areas, more of the investor areas, the ones in white, than the trader areas, which we've got highlighted in yellow right now. So on your right side, you have the Strategy Plus. Now, the difference between these two memberships is the Strategy Plus includes two things. The first one is the Veritas screener, and that powers everything. So not only will you have the ability to have Veritas powering all your environments like the forum and the exchange and the gallery, now you actually have it where you can fire it on yourself as part of the Strategy Plus and see those supply and demand zones populate right in front of you on your chart. So the Strategy Plus gives you access directly into the Veritas screener as well. It is not included in the strategies. You can see the difference on the left column and the right column. It also includes the Options Coliseum, the Investor Empire, the Arena, the Strategy Symposium, which is really a unique opportunity for us to really create a tighter community of traders. And this particular membership, the Strategy Plus membership, the first year membership, 8995 because you're part of the first 250 uh, and and, and we're, like I said, I, I think we're pretty close to that at this point. You get to take advantage of the introductory offer, which is 6995 and that covers you for the entire year. And you get everything that's available on the right column, including the Veritas screener. Now, here's what I want you to realize, folks, as we go through this. It's a simple process. One of the key things you got to understand as we talk about this is that our job as part of the side and strategies is to make sure that people are prepared for the information. We don't want you to get involved in the side and strategies if you're not really ready. One of the reasons Mickey asked all of you if you have any trading experience in the supply and demand areas, because if you don't, there's a high probability that we won't be able to accept you into the membership. And simply because you're not ready, because we run at a certain pace and people have to have a certain level of acumen and knowledge to run at that pace. And because of that, when somebody goes through the process of applying to be a member of the side and strategies, it's a very simple process, but there is a time period where you will not know until we process your application whether we've accepted you as a member. And simply because we don't want to overmatch you. We don't want you to be over your head in an area where we're running fast and you're just getting buried because you're not at that level yet. And that would be a disservice to you as a, as a member of, of the, the side and strategies. And ultimately, we want to make sure our members are getting as much as they can out of this experience and this membership. So if you have an opportunity to catch up and get to the level where everybody else is at, then we'll, we'll have the opportunity to bring you into membership. We just want to make sure that everybody has a world-class experience and runs at a pace that they're comfortable with. And that's why we've got this process built where there is an application process because we don't just want everybody. It's not that we don't want everybody who, because we don't care about us because not everybody's prepared to run at the pace. And imagine this. Imagine if you were running along at a pace and there was somebody in the session slowing everybody down, stopping it, asking questions. It's not that we don't want to help those people or serve those people. We just need to get them ready. And so that's what this is built for. Now, the way to apply for membership, it's a very simple process. You can go to our website, the, the sideandstrategies.com. And I believe that there's a link in the chat box. Let me just make sure that to make sure there's a link in the chat box. And I'm going to walk you through what we have to do for, to, 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 for membership. So uh, can we put a link in there? Is, that somebody, is somebody able to do that? The link is thesidenstrategies.com, thesidenstrategies.com. And if you go to that link, what starts to happen is you'll get to a page that says membership. And they'll have an application button. Hit apply. Now, I want to share something with you. A lot of people that have come through these walls, once they fill out the application, traditionally what happens is, is then you go through a, a period of processing and we'll, we'll take those applications in, we're gonna spend at least 24 hours, no more than 24 hours, to make sure that we think that this isn't gonna overwhelm you, that you're ready and prepared. We just wanna make sure the experience is seamless for you. So that process is simply, you submit an application, we then process the application. You'll hear back from us within 24 hours. If, if you've been processed, you get either approved or denied, and you'll know that again within 24 hours. And if, and if approved, you enter into the membership access, and you get all those attributes that we talked about for the strategy or the Strategy Plus membership. Now, I want to share this with you, a couple things. Sometimes it comes down to membership dues. It just comes down to resources, and we get that. Fill out the application. 
And if you have any issues with membership dues, if you have any struggles, because a lot of people are in tough times, tough season right now with everything that's going on, we get that. We want to still try to open the door if we can. You can reach out to us. I'm going to leave you a phone number and an email to reach us directly at. Talk to one of our member ambassadors. They'll walk you through the process of seeing if there's a way for us to strategically get you into the membership. So the key thing right now is if you go through that process and you have any, any obstacles or any snafus in the process of application, I'm going to leave you a number so that we can obviously reach out to you as well and help you in any way that we can because we care about the success of our members. We care about the fact that you spent some time with us today to just reach out and have an interest in learning about these skills. We believe this Veritas screener and these environments are going to be a game changer for a lot of people. And we think the timeliness is just so key because it's such an important time with the way the globe, the globe is, the world is right now in the process of dealing with all the things that are happening, pandemic and social unrest, that you know what, what a great time for us, some of us that have been sh at shelter in place, to learn these skills in a virtual environment and be able to hopefully generate the type of, the, the type of, of returns that can give us certain things we want. So I'm excited for you. So in the process of application, if you have any issues, please feel free to reach out to us. One of the things I want to leave you with is this, and this is something that's near and dear to Sam's heart as well as mine and many of the leadership team here at Side and Strategies. Sam decided that he wanted to take a portion of every membership and put it into the Side and Foundation, which is really an organization built around helping kids, young adults, and children learn how to handle money better. Because if you think about it, whoever taught you how to handle money, trade in the markets, you know, very rarely do we have any kind of financial education. When we're young, I mean, I didn't even know what a cheeseburger cost until I became an adult because my dad covered it. And I just thought it just gave down, fell down from heaven. We weren't successful. We weren't wealthy. We were low middle class. But I had no knowledge of how to handle money better until I got become an adult. And then I began to realize that I need to be a better steward of my money. Well, what Sam has put together is a side and foundation where every membership, we're going to take a portion of that membership and we're going to put it into an organization, a nonprofit that's going to help kids learn how to handle money better and be better stewards over money and grow money better and protect it better. Because that's a real issue because most people don't have a lot and then even adults don't know how to handle it well. We're going to put our money where our mouth is with membership and help a lot of kids as well because we want to start to breed a next generation of people that understand good stewardship and how to handle money better. Now, here's what I want to do. So you're in the application process. If you have any issues, this I'm going to leave this up. This is our way to reach us. You can contact us by a, via phone. Believe it or not, people still use the phone. They call people. Phone number 833-902-8557. It's also 833-90-BULLS, B-U-L-L-S. Again, 833-902-8557. Take a screenshot of this or take out your cell phone, take a picture of this, because this is a how to reach us. Because in the application process, we want to make sure that we help as many people as possible. Because once we get to that 250 members, uh, the, the, the roof's going to come off a little bit. We're going to go back to those first-year memberships, which aren't the introductory offers. So you guys have a unique opportunity while you're here. And we love the fact that you came in here early as we're growing the process. So the member service hours for that number, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Those guys are available now to talk to you if you have any questions about membership or application or process. If you need to email us, you can email us at admin at thesidenstrategies.com, admin at thesidenstrategies.com, and we'll follow up with you. And we always realize timing isn't always right for everybody, but the time you have is the only time you're ever going to have. And so understand we'll help you in any way we can. If you're a good fit for, the, for membership and you go through the application, we'll help you in any way we can to, to figure out a path for you. Because ultimately, many of us got introduced to the markets. We weren't in good financial seasons of life, but somebody cared about us and reached down and helped us. And we want to help as many people as possible. So I'm going to leave this up for a while. I'm going to shut down the session, but I'm going to stay in the chat box. If you guys have any chats you want to ask me or Mickey, I'm just going to hang out for a few minutes uh, and enjoy our time together. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you in the membership. It's going to be a lot of fun. And ultimately, we believe that we found the process, we found the tools, and we found the system for regular people like us to get to that next level. And we're really excited about that. We can thank Sam and the side strategies. So I appreciate you guys. I'll stay here in the chat box and hang out with you. Hope you have a great day and hope all your trades agree. Thanks, guys.